uh, his shoes. So all the time, <laughs> okay. when, when I was growing up, he would tell me, Chad, polish the shoe, make it shine before you go bring to me. Okay. Polish, polish till it shines before you bring it. So after university, I think when I was in the university, I started to coin it to relate it to my life. So, ah, this man always they tell me, say, polish, polish the shoe, make it shine. And I said, no, I think I have to also polish my life till it shines. So wow. I started it. So polish till it shine. And it didn't make sense back then, but I'm sure by God's grace, it is making sense now. Wow. <laughs> so that's where it comes exactly, from. Exactly, Polish. So big wow. shout out to my father, Mr. Wow. Cranton J. Wow. Where is he? Fire, fire service band. When fire, you go to the fire oh, service band, is he still with them? He's still there. He plays. He's, he's, he's one of the leading trumpeters at fire service band. The so, so, yes, I, I, it's unfortunate I have to jump quickly into it <laughs> because it, it, it was a question I, I wanted to ask, but I don't want to skip it. Mm. So, is he the one that taught you how to play the, the trumpet? Yes. What I was in um, G- classics. When I was in classics, yes. So, um, every year he teaches the church the youth in the church. So it got to um, the part where, I mean, I was part of the people that he has to groom. So that year, he added me. And so he taught me, so from junior high school to senior high school, I was playing. So after senior high school, I had so much, I had love for music because I could read. I attend Salvation Army. In Salvation Army Church, mm, we read. Definitely. We read you, music. You pick up the trumpet. <laughs> exactly. Salvation, what is with Salvation Army and the, and the horns? Um, so... The little uh, history I know is that those days they used to uh, play to go to the r- communities and they use the trumpet to win souls because oh, of music. So when the community hears that, I mean, uh, there's a certain church in our, our area playing trumpets, the children and the aged and everyone will come out around because of the music. So they use that sort of evangelism. So that's the history behind it. Mm. So yes, you picked up the trumpet. Yes, but did so you did you have? Okay, yeah, continue to. Yes. So me. after after senior high school, I had so much. I was still playing. I had so much love for music. I was I was reading then. So uh, I had two uh, passions: uh, journalism and uh, music. music. So I bought GIJ forms came later, but I really back came uh, earlier. So I went to University of Education Winneba to read music. So I hold a degree in music education. Wow. Yes. I was posted to Ashama Senior High School, but I think we'll get there. I, 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 I never, I never, <laughs> Why? I, st- I still have my teacher's appointment, but that was 2017. I had my teacher's appointment. But why but, did you never go? Um, so I think at that point, that love for media, social media was, I mean, was, was, the audio, was the order of the day. So I had so much passion with media journalism because I told myself that we actually wanted to go into uh, journalism. So let me actually go into it. So I, I remember when I told my mom that I am not going to teach, she cried because I'm the first child. Oh, Mommy has taken good care of you. Your parents have taken good care of you. You are now in university. People are praying to actually get posted. And then you get posted. Then you tell your mom that you are not going. You are going to do blogging. So my mom was furious. Called church elders, called my aunts to come and convince me that no, like on to me to the <laughs> <laughs> and her ideology when it comes to blogging was that oh no, him say Facebook. So my mom was ah, you see who on Facebook no son I post post to never. And I know that person would life here now. So I told my my mom to give me just two years to prove a point. And so fast forward two years, I started getting some little money. I try. I mean, I, I was on radio, TV, some some few things that um. And she was getting feedback from her colleagues at work that my mom is a nurse actually. My mom is a nurse at Salvation Army Hospital at Aguna Duyaka. So mm. my mom was finally happy that I mean I was kind of sorting family things much more. Small, small. And I just asked her to pray for me and wish me the very best. And I'm going to make history. Was it difficult picking up the trumpet? Um, it wasn't difficult because I remember any time my dad was going to church. Uh, playing the trumpet i was i was with him when he when he was teaching the choir i was with him so that that passion was there so anytime i picked the trumpet trying to blow and he told me hey the right time will come i'll teach you so it wasn't okay. it wasn't actually difficult i think it wasn't me i i i, I hardly play these days but anytime i touch crazy you notice that the tennis in my veins right <laughs> i think i saw your there was a video you had gone to a church yes and someone was performing. I think it was your performance. I don't know whether yeah. it was in Takrad. Takrad, yes. Yeah, yeah. SK, okay. SK Frimpon. So he had a gospel show at Takrad, and uh, I was one of the guest p- performers. Were they shocked to see Very you? Very shocked, because when they mentioned, let's welcome blogger Kobiche to minister, they thought I was coming to talk about social media. So <laughs> I was holding the trumpet. Ah, you, you could feel from their faces, ah, what is happening? What is happening? 
So I gave the musicians, I told them, ye flats. And they were also shocked. Hey, ye flats? I said, yeah, ye flats. So just give me the key, let's go. I gave them the tempo, let's do 6 8. So 6 8 is like a bada. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do, we, do, we, do we have the video on, on YouTube? On, on, uh, yeah, it's on YouTube. On Facebook? Facebook? Yeah. Okay, uh, so 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 it, 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 you guys get on Facebook, get on Facebook. <laughs> Kobiche is my special guest here. Uh, are we on on YouTube? Oh, so we are live on YouTube as well. <laughs> get get on get on Facebook and YouTube and watch blogger Kobiche as he takes us on a sun sun journey. <laughs> on on a sun sun journey. Well, messages have started coming in already. Uh, is ill gen? Is still General Mangbeze says. Listening from New Jersey, USA. Kobe Che is just an extraordinary blogger in Ghana, and we all have to give him that push. Polish till you shine. Augustus Pilos, a most decent and educative blogger. Koja Sempa Furniture West says, Good morning to you and your listeners uh, from Koja Sempa Furniture Works in Kumasi. Uh, all righty. Um, I, I have information. Good morning to you. Uh, workers of uh, Los Angeles Barbershop, Community 2 in Tema, Los Angeles Barbershop. Uh, good morning to you and to you. Akuvi is also listening. Kobe, m- most of the time your name is mentioned and the adage is educative <laughs> and what? What do they say? Well, uh, decent and educative blogger. Mm. Why do you think people have tied you with that? Is it something you pride yourself or brag with it? Or, uh, uh, anyway, have you seen it? Yeah. Uh, first of all, I, I feel humbled anytime I see that because when I was starting blogging, I told myself, I told my soul, my spirit that I want to stand for impact. And so when I get uh, feedbacks like this, I thank God it's not coming from me, but the audience, the people that are my, uh, my community or my followers, it makes me feel more humble to believe that I'm actually impacting society and giving them the right information. So far as media is concerned, to entertain and inform, to educate. So if I'm playing that role very well, it means that um, I'm inspiring young ones out there. So <laughs> there are lots of blogging. Mm. Which one are you? Okay, so first of all, um, when I started, because of my music background, I started as uh, an entertainment blogger. Where I mean, obviously, what everybody does go for events, press conferences, interviews, and uh, which I still do. But uh, it got to a point where I noticed that uh, fine, entertainment is good. It plays a major role in the economy. But what I can also do, because when I look at the blogging space, uh, nobody is actually tackling issues when it comes to developmental. So I said, let me also be the voice for the voiceless. Um, Joy um, FM or Adam FM will want to send the reporters to the villages to cover the untold stories or be the voice for the voiceless. So that's what I can also do because I noticed that we're in a global village where social media is also growing. So aside the entertainment, what can I also do? Let me speak for people. Let me share stories of others. So I find myself in between entertainment and developmental blogging. Mm, I see. Does it pay? Of course. I mean, um, by God's grace. And I'm using by God's grace because uh, when you're out there, you might think that some of the sacrifices don't pay. Especially with the developmental bl- 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 blogging. Uh, you, you, I, I went, I was in uh, the central region the whole of last week uh, from Monday to Thursday. And when people actually saw me, the videos are not even out there. But when people saw that I was in their community, when I posted the teasers, People from the diaspora are sending me money to actually say that this is their community and they are happy I'm there. And the amount of money they send me is crazy because they feel that this is what journalism is all about. You understand? And I've also been able to create a niche for myself where uh, I find myself in the the, the diplomacy community. So if I'm doing something for the Italian embassy, those people respect work. They respect your career. And so some of the invoices are also heavy. And I thank God that um, I'm able to do what I'm doing to take care of my family, take care of myself, and I'm trusting the process. I'm not looking at uh, building one of the biggest mansions or buying one of the expensive cars. My biggest motivation is that at least I'll get somewhere to sleep, get food to eat, pay my case school fees, and also impact humanity. 
Wow. That sounds very impactful. What are some of the results? Positive. I mean, I can countless, I mean, uh, on top of my fingers, I can mention a few things that I've used my platform to change. Um, I don't see multimedia. A lot of the media platform uh, covered this story. When I went to the Volta region to cover St. Paul Senior High School, how they were fed. I mean, you saw yeah, that story. I remember, yeah. Uh, Ten students, I mean... Um, so you broke that story. Exactly. That was huge. That's one of my biggest stories. And this is a blogger moving from Accra, driving all the way to Volta region because I discovered a story that needs to be addressed. And fast forward... The uh, old student association came together and now they are enjoying better food. I saw a bridge somewhere at uh, Banana Inn, Manprobi. I went to cover my uh, people and, and then they have new bridge. Countless, fiscally challenged, 2021, I shared over 20 wheelchairs. That's my goal there with Kobiche Project. So I discovered people who are fiscally challenged and cannot work and they are in a deprived community. And you know, because of our mindset, what people are a fiscally challenge. We have this notion that uh, it's a curse, sp- spirituality. So I move to them and also make sure that I share wheelchairs. Uh, what else? Countless. I mean, recently with Michael Blackson. If I tell you how I was able to meet Michael Blackson. So Michael Blackson had an event at the um, Independence Square. And Sarkozy was part um, of um, the artists who were supposed to perform. So backstage... I heard him whisper to Sarkozy that he's going to commission his school. I just heard the conversation. I moved to him. I told him that, you know what? This is something that I'm already doing. I love humanitarian stuff. I want to follow you. I'm not going to charge you. So I didn't take a personal from Michael Blackson. I said, this is what I want to do to support that project. And obviously, I'm from Aguna Duyakwa. Mm. And Michael is from Aguna Nisaban. So I followed them, joined his team, went to sleep like two days. And that story was huge, was everywhere. So these are the things that I am using my platform, rent issues. Rent issues is something that is always on my heart. I've been trying to put a lot of information. I also speak for a lot of youth because obviously I'm also, I mean, um, I'm a youth myself. So um, I suffer the internet to know what some of the people are going through to, to see how best I can use my platform to change the narrative and speak for people. So I've done a lot of things and, and I feel humbled and by God's grace, anytime that I put out information out there, I pray over it and I get the results. When when you put out information mm. and you don't get results, mm. what do you do? I know that's disappointing. Mm. Okay, wait. Has it ever occurred that you put out an information or a report, mm. something devastating? or something you feel like it is deteriorating, you put it out, and it is not well attended to, what do you do? It breaks my heart. I mean, as a Has it ever occurred? Of, of course, countless times. You put out information, you speak to the right quarters, you speak to the people who are in charge, and they promise you you are going to do it. And you still get feedback from the people that you want to report the case on to tell you that, boss, what is happening? What is happening? Tell are we going to get results? It breaks my heart. But the beautiful thing is that those contents are timeless. So they are on your page. I did a story that I got disappointed. Nobody attend, uh, um, attended to it. But fast forward in some few years, somebody actually visited the page, saw it, and they got the results that he needed. So those contents are not the trendy stuff. Say, be a say, be ready, we had them to know. And we're trimming them. But if you do those humanitarian and developmental stories, no matter how you say China, better bank order, you might not get a result as soon as possible. But trust me, for example, if there are bad rules in a community and it has not been fixed, that video showing that this community are experiencing bad rule will forever be there and it will get attended because that content is timeless. And that's what has been my philosophy. I always want to put out information on my page that in the next 10 years, and these children will come and see, say, oh, uh, um, a certain blogger came to Ghana and covered this story, bad road, and it's still there. Let me fix it. So I think generational. I am not thinking out uh, what I'm going to put on my page to get that attraction now. I am looking at putting out information on my page that I get a result soon or later. It's, 
it is, it is going to get addressed. But, so but m- m- most of them are into clickbaits. Mm. Well, they it, it's a numbers game. Mm. That as much as you get your numbers, mm. that's how you make your your mm. kwacha. Yes. Right. Are you not concerned about that? So let me tell you this, <clears throat> and let me also use this opportunity to educate everyone out there. We are over 30 million population. Andy, not everyone <laughs> will want to wake up to look at what is trending. There are people in their own circles that I deal with, or my audience, that are not looking for what is trending today. My question is, what are we giving to those audience? There are people who help my brand, who pay me, they don't comment, most of them don't even follow me. They just go on my page. They don't click follow Kobe Chay, but they, have, they, they visit my page from time to time. They will not comment. They will not. I'm sure there are pages like that that you follow that you don't comment, you don't like, but you love what they are doing. Of course. And you love to support them. Exactly. So over 30 million population, we are. No, but I called you. Remember exactly. I said you, you called me, yes. But I wanted to support. <laughs> yes. Um, when you can hear it? Um, um, triplet. Uh, woman or triplet. Right, right. You understand? And so, and look like our triplets, and I also posted, says, hey, my one go for me. So, back to the matter. So, 30 million population. Are you looking at a few sector who are always having that conversation that negative sales, clickbait, negative sales? Why don't we also change the narrative to send a signal that positive sales, without a clickbait, you can get money? That is your spin? That is how I spin. That do is you, my do philosophy. You, do, you, do you get support? That is why I'm here today for you to interview me. And I appreciate it. The very little support that I get from the people when it comes to my brand and my direction, I don't take them for granted. Because we're in a space where everybody wants to jump on. And I may say, oh, where do we have them? Okay, I'm going to enjoy it. 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 And those people, trust me. Well, they're sorry to say, oh, you're going to say, perfume, you are not sorry. Tell us, you are going to enjoy it. House flies will go everywhere. <laughs> Sorry to say, toilet in the Maybe won't hear me. Go craving the go, but quality people. So those are my target audience. I am not disputing the fact that those who want to do the clickbait and whatever have you. I don't have an issue with them. People are there who want to also consume those content. I respect it, but I also want people to respect me to know that this is what I stand for. Because I've had issues where people want to attack my personality because I stand for this. Mm. Yes. Oh, you, you're a positive blogger and so what? Your, you, your fellow bloggers? I mean, I've, I've, I've seen a few on TV, uh, on TV or radio when they go on radio and they ask them, ah, we've seen your colleague blogger say that he stands for uh, positivity. And then I'm expecting the blogger to say that that is his audience. I respect it. This is what we also want to do. They won't say that. But what they will say is that, oh, no, no, also a positivity in today. Oh, no, you can't positive and no cry anything. I mean, let's respect every trade, and let's respect all the audience. I I don't have any I don't have any problem when you want to do what you are doing, because people want to people actually I mean they get paid for it, so it means that people want that content, and I, I fully respect that. But for me as a blogger and where I'm going, I believe that every information that I put out has the tendency of destroying the mindset of the people. And let me say this: go to the days. We still have documentaries about Kwame Nkrumah. Mm. Social media wasn't active. But the little videos that they were able to take is making sense to us right now. So, in a nutshell, what I'm saying is that social media is documenting every step that we are making as human beings now in a global village, in the current dispensation, everything that you are doing. So, imagine in the next, say, 50 years, they are pulling up some of the content that you posted. You are posting, they, are, they, are, they are showing some of the stuff that you did. How are you going to defend it? You understand? We all have our bad side, which we all always want to check. The, uh, we always want to um, see the checks and the balances. But in a nutshell, Mr. Andy, God created you, created uh, Boo God, created my brother here, created my brother here to impact ourselves. God knew that one day you need Martinez to support your show. God knew that you need a certain DJ to support you. So God created all of us to impact each other, not to destroy each other. So when you are putting out information out there, which is going to distort and destroy people, destroy current generation there, and the next generation, you're going to pay for it. So your, your for me, I admire the bloggers a lot because, well, you guys put out good stuff. Mm. And um, I, I mean, 
certain things that we didn't get the opportunity to to share, mm. right? Because I, I may be on radio. If, if you don't get the chance to listen, that's it. But a blogger may pick it up, give it a very good caption, mm. and then others who are not closer to their radios, as you lay out or relay that information, they also get the chance to see it again. Mm. Um, again, just as you said, a generational thinker, you put out stuff that people may also be interested in supporting. How did blogging start? Oh, thank you so much. Uh, I give thanks to God Almighty. I give glory to God for how far he's brought me. Blogging. So like I mentioned in my preamble, um, I, I, love, I love journalism. I love journalism so much. So uh, after university, when I was still trying to figure out what I would do, um, I had accumulated a lot of numbers because of SAC. Okay. Because I was a huge SAC audio fan and like, oh, SAC audio fans 10, Michelle 5, Michelle 1. And during the days of fan base, we were traveling to support our artists. Like say SAC has a uh, show in Takrade, Onimye, but not SACaholics. Okay. They are forming a church, Obedo stage near her. I remember one time in I've I've I've, I've, I've narrated the story quite a number of time. Uh, Tamale, he was going to launch the Mary album. Mm. They got to the airport. We s had to set off at uh, Kwame Nkrumah Circle. <laughs> I think it was eleven hours. I told my mom we were going for a discussion. <laughs> <laughs> we're like about six six. I called the fans five. Make sure I told the guys. Travel all the way to Tamale. Sako they came with his team. Go to Tamale Airport. So we went to sleep over the next morning. We waited for them at the airport. Or Sharon Jane was ah, near Ko US cry how many hours? And I'm watching about my might just come and support me. So genuinely we were supporting SAC. So I was a SAC fan. Not knowing that Nichina Medino, I was learning a lot of things that was going to benefit me today. Mm. I had no idea about it. So I had accumulated numbers. So when I was posting content about SAC, people actually thought that I was blogging, but I had no idea about blogging. Okay. So so I went to Visit Amir Debra. When I googled um, bloggers in Ghana, his name came first. Mm. And I said, no. I, I read about him, went on his blogs, his page, and I said, no. I want to tap into the wisdom of this guy and his direction. So fast forward, I, I had his contact, called him, and he said, oh, my name is Kobicho. Oh, I know you. I mean, I see you on the timeline. Can I visit you? He said, oh, come home. I had a conversation with Amir. And he said that I even thought that you were blogging already because I've seen you post about it. I said, no. I'm just posting as a fan. Hmm. And he said, no, if that's what you are doing, because you get your captions right, you, you everything you are doing for SAC, is, that's why today people want to say, oh, SAC is blogger. Because I was always trying to put that accurate information about him. And so he said, that's what you are doing. Just make sure that you generalize what you are doing and make it affect everybody. I said, hey, I'm a yo. And you made a made a cry. So I came back, started reading a lot about blogging. And one of the things that I saw when I was reading about blogging is how bloggers use their platform to share opinions about situations, about happenings, about events, about incidents. And I said, okay, that is what I'm going to do. So 2017, so this year will be exactly six years that I started blogging. Wow. Yes, November. November this year will be six years. I started blogging. And so I got my website. Big shout out to my, my beautiful wife, Georgette. Uh, Adjo Adjo got my got me money. I was struggling back then. I uh, got me money to buy, get a domain for myself, website, from events. One, hey, one incident. Xylophone. Oh, that time, Xylophone was everywhere. Hmm. Press conference. I got the GSK who gave me 20 cities. This guy, they did it. I swear. Um, you know, <laughs> just go, go make sure that just go, go because now I, I was them picking up so you get to events and they look at you and they said boss your name no your name no day they listen inside you <laughs> anytime that jet go quite through 20 b i said no charlie i can't I, and i god bless jet so much he would tell me that could be your name is not part of the list but this is what i want to give you i i, I can walk to event they would tell me ghana music awards every event i go they say my name is not part of the list oh so let me go by God's grace now, I'm just in my room, receiving emails. Come here, do Jelly. this. Send your rate card, do this. 
So, hey, you have a red card. Rich card, no. Rich card, no. So, polish to you shine. I said, no, polish. I have to shine. Polish yeah, yeah, yeah. from one event to the other. One event to the other. And then people started noticing me. People started to see my stuff. I started interview. I have interviewed quite a number of people by God's grace. And then we moved from that span or that space of the Sarkodie fan, Sarkodie Kobiche. And then to relating into every field, every dimension of life. So that's but, how it all started. But back in the day, what were you doing wrongly mm. to not get your name on those lists? And what do you think they were doing differently? Not because I was on, on a come up. Just oh. like every up and coming artist. They get to stay and the gym. And, them, and many more. <laughs> <laughs> I was part of and and many more should motivate you and Andy one of my biggest motivations is when you disappoint me mm. when people disappoint me I'm happy because I come through the window and you'll be surprised and you can't even work with me so along the line I saw that disappointment not the fact that probably GS Waku is wicked and he's giving me 20 cities or this person is not telling me that I am not part of the list I still have to grind hard for let for for them to know my work, to know that, no, we need this person. So now, when I'm in my space, when I'm at home and I get invited, what they call me, they say, Kobe, we need you to be part of the list because of your audience. We also need a bit of your audience. So I think consistency, hard work, using those disappointment moments to recover, to prove a point that you were also made of, of something. Well, Messages. Kweku Louis says, sensible explanation. Desmond Black says, you go there, you speak for the less privileged and find results for them. This is so human. God bless you and take your style of blogging far. Polish to you, Shine Kobe Chain. I'm proud to be part of your philanthropist team. Michael Osun Kansas says, go there with Kobe Chain. has gone a long way to help the less privileged. May God bless him. He needs all the support. Kobe Adichim says, good morning, keep up the good work. Lillian says, she says, good morning, Andy, God bless you and your team. Augustus Pillow says, all bloggers, blogger. All bloggers should use their platform to speak for the less privileged and address social issues. That's blogging. Enough of twerking and gossips blogging. Moses Law says, Andy, please ask Kobe Che if he knows Isaac Say, Redeemer from Salvation Army, Aguna <laughs> Diakwa. You know him? Huh? Yeah. So those guys were part of the people with my father trying to play the okay. <laughs> God knows Ahim Akbar says this is more than a master class big up Kobiche are you open for mentorship mm -hmm. yes this year is part of my project right <laughs> uh, Lillian says she says what a wonderful blogger God bless you and will take you far Prince Elby said God bless you Kobiche Michael Osun Kansas says Kobiche I love the way he blogs and the impact he's having on our country God bless you GOK Break says I quite remember when he told me this at Green's Lounge when Sakodi was having his no pressure show. I got closer to him and asked him, I'm a blog and asked I'm a blogger, what should I blog about? Kobiche News said, Don't blog about positive. And I took his word till now. And he does it. Okay. Yeah, Flex says, big shout to Kobiche. Okay. Those were comments on Facebook. Super, super humbled. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> uh oh. Too many comments for you, Kobe. Uh, Freak Empire says, and they ask him about Shutter Slap and why he collected that. <laughs> Did Shutter Slap you? I think uh, his photographer, Kobe Nawuku, in Takrade. Why? I think it was um, Kofi Kanata's Made in Tadi. I think that year that um, Shutter was built to perform as a headline. So. Mm. I was there, uh, so uh, Kwabinaoku used to work with SAC. Mm. So we, ha we had that rapport. So I know Kwabinaoku very well. So backstage, I was just, I went to tap Kwabinaoku. I said, oh, Charlie, what's up? I was just trying to say hello, hello. Then, and just pass away. I just tapped him, turned, and gave me a slap. Charlie, I'm a you know, to tell you. Ah, yes. Just uh, like that? Yeah, just like that. And that point, bloggers were around, the media were around. I asked myself, should I, re sh should I, should I, should I react? And a sound came to my mind. It was very fast. It said, if I react, media people around, they're going to put this on tape. My children will be disappointed when they see this video. So I moved to, to my hotel back. 
came back to Akka the next day. And, okay, did you get the chance to speak with him afterwards? No, I think he was on um, he was on one platform. Shata was on one platform. I, I saw some, I mean, a few of the uh, the tape, and he was asked why, uh, I mean, why his photographer would do that. And the comments that he gave actually broke my heart because he said, me a sack the blogger into no no shutter shoes the then I make a quiet was here. So literally means that I wasn't supposed to be there. So the question is, do I deserve the slap from Kabina Uko? But so I got disappointed and I said, okay, let me just be in my space. Because for me, I believe in posterity. So I just had to just pray to God to let it slide. No, I don't get it. Mm. You <laughs> that Kobe. <laughs> I've seen Kobe. Kobe is my guy. Yes. Or I've seen Fifi Coleman, yeah. who used yeah, to, exactly. he said he used to work yes, exactly. or part of a team. Exactly. Fifi used to come to hit. Mm. I meet Fifi at National Theatre. Fifi is there on a George Quay show or mm. Bulldog is having mm. a vanilla lunch. I see Fifi attack him. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know what was run, run, running Why? through his mind. Yeah, yeah. To date, I'm still waiting for him to explain. And he will explain one day. One day, one day, he will explain. He will explain why he did that. I've still not gotten why he did that. Because I had no, I had no issue with him. And Shatter mm -hmm. gave that explanation. Yes. Which means he knew or heard. Exactly. But, I mean, it's just, it's just, it's just one of those things. <laughs> and he's the same person that goes yeah. on Twitter saying that, me, I should <laughs> get Sarko there in some minute in a room. No matter my budget. <laughs> It's just, it's just one of those things. He's not correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, um, wow. It's some way. Okay. Hmm. Maybe you you damn get some issue in the past. You may no, have forgotten. No, I mean, oh no. I think uh, it's just the feedback from the fans that I hardly post about 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 Shatter and 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 all that. Anything about Shatter, which is the moments, I don't I don't hesitate to share. Sometimes his fans will get surprised. Hey, Charlie, thank you so much. Today, the yeah, SM for life, Kobiche. You know, uh, the SM boys, when you are... When you are for their boys. Exactly. You when are you for are them. Not, exactly. But I mean, it's all um, one industry. If I feel like posting, if it is something that will benefit my audience, because I don't believe we are looking at audience. So if such a... I mean, beautiful collaboration with Beyonce was on my website, my timeline. I shared that moment. But if it's something that doesn't correlate or correspond to my brand, my ideology, and my audience. No. <clears throat> okay. Well, Frick Empire, he was the one that he said, he's the only blogger that doesn't post the anonymous on his page. What's the meaning? I'm so hard. Who do you go? Nana Kwame says, Andy, ask him what motivates him to move around the country, especially to villages. Well, it looks like you just tuned in. He's explained already. Um... She comes says, wow, huge inspiration. Kennedy Kendall of Kobe says, it looks like Kobe Chase is now the old table of our time because he speaks so well. More grease to his elbow. Uh, Ghana at underscore Brandy said, the only sensible blog. Oh, Masa. Oh, the only dear. You can. You mean to us. You mean to us. The blogger with sense. <laughs> 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 uh, okay. Ebenezer Kobner says, Andy, I've watched the video before. The, the passion to which he plays the trumpet is the same he uses in doing his work. Great guy by all standards with a sense of objectivity. Kovichi, big up yourself. Uh, uh, GOK Break says, Good morning. Please tell Kovichi I love him so much and also want to say he inspires me to write good blogs. Okay. Uh, right. Keep on coming. Those were tweets. Kobiche is my special guest. So, um, your do you, do you have friends that in 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 your space? <clears throat> like blogging mm -hmm. friends. Um. So they are friends when we meet on the field. Mm -hmm. Yes, they are. They are friends when when we meet on the field. Uh, so I've been on the same flight with Zion on the field. We are going to work events on the field. We are working, but aside that, 
anytime I hear from Zion, Kweku, then Mr. there's a program that he wants me to be part of. So anytime I also kind of call them to know that, oh, so there's an event that I want you guys to be part. So apart from that, I highly, I highly, I mean, we highly talk, but for the purposes of the profession, we still got the vibe. <laughs> but wait, it, it, it looks like you, you've isolated yourself. You've distanced yourself from, from them. They mm. seem to be some sort of a group, mm. but you are nowhere near them each time they are seen together. Uh, if there is a party or a hangout or anything, <laughs> you don't mingle. You don't. You are not seen. Any reason? So recently, I had an invite to be at um, bloggers party. Right. It was, it was. I think it happened on the Spintex, on the Spintex oh, road. Yeah, I, I got I the invite, and I, ha I I asked the organizer a lot of questions, and 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 that's me. Anytime I've rejected a lot of people who send me um, money that. Charlie, yeah, per se, who post to a drove a mom peso me to cast here and a sorry to say on radio. A mom yeah no for cast here and once and huge money and I sometimes my 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 staff will will, 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 will get surprised. I tell them that have you registered? I even go to the stand of asking you, have you registered with the FDA? Mm. And they go like ah but your friends post you to post them. I said, No, I I don't work like that. You have to show me a proof that it has been registered with the FDA. Because if something goes, we said we saw I uh, watch it trending on mm, Twitter mm, because mm. of people going to eat. Mm. Exactly. So I, I'm always careful about the information I put out because I'm 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 serving a community. So I got an invite. I told them what is going to happen there. Are you organizing a party for us to come and hang out and have fun as bloggers, or you want to organize a party to promote your place? He said, "Come have party and promote my place." Okay. Now, what do you do at your pub? What's the name? The strip, strip, stripper, stripper. We strip do stripper. Tees. We do food, and I said, okay. So we are going to post all this, all these things. We are going to, we, we are going to post all these things on our page when we come. And I said, yes, we are going to pay you. And I said, sorry to disappoint you, but I can't be part. And Andy, because of the strip, exactly. Teams? Because when I go there, I'm going to be, be under mandate. To post it because you've paid me. And once somebody gives you money to post it, once you accept and move your car to the location, it means that you have to post. And those are not my target. If you are organizing party for myself, Zion, uh, all the guys, come and show. I will come because I know all the guys. But to come and promote strippers on my page, hell no. Because that is going to destroy my followers. So couldn't you have posted without the strip, strip tease? It's better I don't go there at all. So you turned down the money. Exactly. And that will go a long way to help me. Did you tell your wife? Then. <laughs> At the beginning, she was still trying to fine-tune with what I'm doing because... What do you call it? Pampers. <laughs> <laughs> and some of these events, the money is huge. Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes when she's around me, I put it on speaker. Then I want to hear her feedback. Charlie, Pasha, you will you will you can diapers? Diapers will you. What I say. But now she is my number one fan. She will come and say, I went for a wedding and some people approached me and I told them no, you don't do that. So they they didn't even bother. And Andy, it will take time for me to create this niche. But trust me, I know where I'm going. Because I don't the day. You as a person, you as the creator, know the direction and where you want to go. And so if you allow certain money to destroy you right now, it will get to a point that you're going to be stagnant. That's you can relate. And you always have to find your niche. Niche is very important as a blogger. That is why we have hates, we have joy, we have adon because they serve a certain purpose, a certain target. So if you don't fine tune your target to know that, and it takes a lot of discipline, Andy. Because for you to say that you need money to buy food and to reject some money or some funds coming from a certain quarters, it takes a lot of discipline. But at the end of the day, I've used a lot of people as an example. I interviewed Ben Bracco one day. And after the interview, we had a nice conversation. And Ben Bracco said, Kobe, I assure the interview. Because the perception about bloggers 
having an interview, you know, we are sure say when be some BBI or be training, say, sure that be qua. I was quiet for a moment and then he told me that, Kobe, whichever views that you get, put it on your YouTube. But guess what? When I'm no more one day and there's a documentary from every high authority, the copyright money you are going to gain on this interview, you can't eat it. So just keep it. And that is something I won't forget. For me to do an interview, put it on a record, not get the, hey, hey, the whole about you around it. But in future, knowing that this interview is going to serve a purpose one day. Mm. It's a timeless interview. That is something that I am looking at. You can't kill the man. Oh, no. <laughs> so God bless uh, Mr. Ben Bracken. May you live long. May you live long. So those are some of the things that I, I am I am always looking at. What, what did the guy tell me? He said, what? Well, <laughs> just you what? The, the prophet, he says what? <laughs> he said, well, well, you you grow long. You grow long. Uh, 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 <laughs> let me pray for you as a man of God. And it does you grow long. Wow. On YouTube, um, someone caught it says polish till you shine. DC DLK says hi to Kobe. Keep up the good work. I'm really glad Kobe is really doing good, a good job for the urban communities. Prince Martin said, God bless you, Mr. Che. DC LK says, I'm really loving the sense of human. On the part of Kobiche, respect, sir. These are comments from YouTube. Mm. Um, what was the biggest challenge in your work? My biggest challenge, which I'm still facing, is the fact that people haven't so been convinced that blogging goes beyond gossiping. Mm. Last week, when I was with my team, we visited two brothers who were working with the UN and they've come back to establish as farmers huge project mm. and somebody actually recommended me to them when i got there the introduction stage he said gentlemen gentlemen let me tell you when this person mentioned your name that you were a blogger i got pissed i didn't even want to listen to who that person was because of a certain perception that this is how they trade but i went to your page with my brother with my team scrutinize some of the things you've done and we even asked them to call you to come and you've proven yourself that you are different because and that's my challenge anytime so imagine if the person had not visited my page imagine the number of contracts that has been cancelled because of a certain perception so that is a challenge that i am dealing with right now when anytime there's a gig somebody has to step in for me to convince the client mm. that no this person no we can trust him we can trust him also when am i going to deal with that <laughs> you understand so that's the big challenge and th these are huge people who don't want to put any dent on their brand and so you have to go extra mile to convince them send them my page have a conversation so the gentleman actually started to interrogate me to ask me questions to know whether what i have on my page resonates or reflects with mm. my character and my Mindset. Yeah, thinking. My okay. thinking. So we started a conversation. We started talking about the youth, the empowerment, and the fact that how national service personnel, these days, we have not paid attention to agriculture. And I told him that, you know, the reason why people have not, the youth have not been attracted to agriculture and farming and fishing is because when we were growing up, the front page of agriculture books had old women chewing sticks. <laughs> I said, we almost seen 82. Mm. So it gives us a, an impression that it's for it the is for folk. the aged, mm. aged people. So it, it never made any, any, any sense to, to any youth coming up. So I challenge you and your brother to do that. Have a conversation with authorities. Also with the National Service personnel. Some of them, make sure that you create that avenue where they will come to the farming field <laughs> to have exchange programs. In the school, the National Service, you know, I started farming BB. Maybe our office, or yeah, you more hit FM, but still not our farming because national service, you know, quite a question. Bibi, those days, that was what people were doing. Um, national service people were going onto the farm, they feel to sort of explore to learn certain things. And I had that conversation with the man and said, No, we're going to work with you, but I can't be going around to convince people on my state of mind and my state of blogging. So I feel that that is one of the challenges that I'm facing, but by God's grace, we are getting there. Mm. 
All right. More comment. Uh, okay, Martinez, please. Honestly, I'm, I'm very happy the way you guys have been celebrated, especially within this week. Mm. Very, very happy. And um, big thank you to you, Andy, and the team. Because, look, it has given the opportunity for you guys to really um, express yourself for people to understand you. Because what we know is that you guys are bloggers and you are in for trends. Mm. A lot of people might not even understand what you are doing, but having this platform, at least it has opened the minds of the people for them to really know who you are, what you stand for, your beliefs, and even your vision. And I'm so, so, so much happy for that. Are you still the blogger with the billboard title? Because ah. <laughs> <laughs> you're the only blogger with billboard. <laughs> you still hold that title? No, I'm called Mary Nasa. Asa. I think this year I have, this year I have um, a road safety campaign coming up, huge one. So I think that that will lead me to have my second billboard on the street. Because that's interesting. I mean, <laughs> when you see that, it's, 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 it's really fun. Mm. It, it makes you understand that, look, it's not just about products, but look, people also have, you know, plans and vision, despite the field in which they are. Uh, let and me for, tell you one interesting thing about the billboard that I did. Mm. So it was mounted at the Nima police station. So I had a meeting with, fast forward, I had a meeting with um, Kwabena Dufour. Someone invited me, he wanted to have a conversation with me. I went there and when he mentioned my name, the wife actually told him that, ah, and yet when he had a billboard or Nima Honana blogger, no. So first, I had to connect with the wife mm. to know that, no, so that's the guy. The partial person. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys have an association? No. No, 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 we don't have. I it's something that uh anytime I meet the guys we, we try to champion so so that we can have sort of regulations to know those who are doing the right thing and those who are not doing the right thing and how you can be a member so that there will be some sort of policies, regulations to define the thing very well, to people to have the clear underst understanding of our core duties in playing in this economy. Mm. So it is something that I'm still fighting for. I wish that all of us will have a body like the uh, Ghana Journalism Association, mm. like Ghana Bloggers Association. I think with that, we're going to have a uniform or sort of unionism, like the mindset, mind frame. And I'm proud, I feel say we even will get a lot of gigs even more than the individual thing that we're doing. Once that they know that, like, election is coming, Ghana Bloggers Association, this is the agenda we want you guys to, to do. What can we do for our communities? What can we do? We can change the when it comes to entertainment. What can we do? We let's drive a certain conversation because media is part of the arms of government, and so I feel that there should be sort of association with the blog, uh, with bloggers, so that we can drive a conversation. So mm. it's a very laudable idea, and I'm hoping that one day we come to a point where uh, all of us will have a big association in the bl blogging community. Yeah. So quick right. one. I like your brand. I like everything you've said. I like your principles. I mean, what you are doing, the developmental work. You know, some of the works you send me, I see, and what you are putting out there, inspiring people, motivating people. I mean, taking blogging to the next level. I like everything, especially with um, the former um, French, ambassador. French ambassador, what you guys are doing. Mm. Uh, I, I believe that it has a very big result, which very soon we will see. Mm. And um, I don't know what's going on, though, but I believe that the impact that is going to make on the industry mm. is big. So um, just keep focus. Whatever your principles are, it, it will be difficult for people to understand you. But then with time, you'll be celebrated one day. Mm. So, big guys. Give me, please. And so, uh, I think Martinez took something out of what I was thinking about. It's, it's the idea of a, a unified body as, as blood. Because what I, what I struggle with is how do you check yourselves? Is there a way? Who... who who oversees your activities? Do you have? Do you call on your brother and say, Chaleza, in this post you do, it be like, it be a little bit this way, or Kobe, this thing you do, you know, there should be a system of checks and balances amongst yourselves that you can actually call your brother and say, Ronnie, I beg, this post, I not say A, B, C, D, is it possible to D, E, F? You know what I'm saying? It's, 
it's important because as a group you have a bigger voice as a, as a unit you charge um you know in a way that if you go to kobe and kobe takes five thousand this one takes five, it becomes like so you so you, exactly. you, nobody just pushes exactly. it, it's, a, it's a good thing to think about and to do I, a, a couple of things i just want to know are you because i think i don't think you are but i just a reformed blogger you know when you started did you also start with the uh, let's show a little skin here and then later on say no no i'm doing the wrong thing let me go back to doing the right thing did you ever do something that's like a that? very good question i never I, I i have been consistent with everything that i'm doing now see that's awesome <laughs> and then so d just to leave you off there's beauty in the pain there's beauty in the struggle there's success after this whole part that you're going through the fact that you believe that whatever you are whatever seeds you are sowing now you might not just reap the fruits right now but it's coming ahead of you it's something that it, it, it recites in you so keep believing the faith that you have and god bless you for the life that your work has touched so far thank you god bless you so much safi already have my guys so with the vibe you know two positive guys do you feature him on your page? No. In terms Please of... Please allow. <laughs> in terms of... Anything like... Anything... Have you ever posted him? Uh, no. But I've Thank posted his artist before. Oh, his artist is very uh. clean. Yes. Because if you refuse strippers, you must refuse him too. <laughs> yes. He's a stripper! <laughs> you know the strip? Yes, sir. <laughs> You know, me and they would vibe on that level. Thank you so much for the advice, back door. You know, yeah, we did, we did do that. And um, like you talk, once once you've uh, decided to do this, the challenges will be enormous. Um, but then you should understand that, um, like uh, like the Spartans, you are the few against the many. You know? <laughs> like that be your favorite movie. Eh? Oh yeah, three hundred. Three hundred. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know, so. Um, just stand strong, you know. The 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 and you meet a lot of things too that the other people will not also meet in terms of opportunities and and whatever. So Charlie, keep 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 at it. You know, don't. You said something. I mean, um, you don't want to be, build like the biggest house or drive the psh, nicest car. It's just something simple. Maybe I'll do. Would do. And 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 that's what life is really really about it's about <clears throat> giving yourself to 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 others we're here in service people don't get that you know um anybody who's here that has done any sort of service yeah and have benefited more out of the service than they've given uh, i believe that hell is meant for them <laughs> <laughs> you know when they say there is a hell it's meant for those people because um, like people say, the tree will not throw shade for itself. It throws for, for others. So, Charlie, kudos with what you do, and Charlie, let's keep doing this, yeah? God bless you. All right, then, Charlie. Robert! Spartans! <laughs> what is your secret? What is your profession? <laughs> <laughs> what is your secret in this case? <laughs> uh, who? <laughs> Charlie, um, Kobe, Kobe has been doing the most. Um, <clears throat> first of all, I just want to say big ups. Um, as I listened to him, I just, I, I couldn't help it, but listen to him through the lens of um, marketing. I could clearly see him <clears throat> working on his segmentation and then target. There's something called STP, segmentation, targeting, positioning, and I think he's done that very well. You know, sticking to his core values, clearly helping him distinguish himself from from people within the space and that basically helps him create a niche and so therefore makes it easier for people to call him out for whatever project they want to be able to give him <clears throat> so i just want to say kudos kudos to that particular respect um i you know yesterday i was saying that one of the things that i had an issue with with this industry is the fact that um when when you say blogging there's actually the true sense of the word blogging, which is about people sharing expert knowledge in specific fields, and that um, that was the that was the points that I wasn't getting too much of. But then um, I, I see I see the likes of that you know in this in this area, and um, because at a, it gets to a point where you actually need people sharing an opinion 
in certain specific areas out of research, things that you have, you have conviction about that you need to be able to put to the front. And to a certain extent, I don't even want to call these guys bloggers anymore. The reason is because, you see, for me, these guys are functioning as, they're like, uh, they're like, they're media houses. You understand? They're media houses. They are informing, they are educating, and then they are entertaining. So maybe one of the key things we are not getting on the other platforms may be the education aspect, you know, and maybe that's one of the things we need to be able to highlight. But for as long as we look at these guys in the light of media houses, because that's what they are doing on social media platforms, I think that for me, the call for the um, ethics of journalism and whatever you guys are using in terms of running this particular station when it comes to ethics wise i think those are some of the things that we need to be able to embrace 100 percent. because at the end of the day if you don't or if we don't it will get to the point where <laughs> you have some lawyers suing you for having posted something because you just didn't apply you know the necessary um what do you call it um, rules or the guidelines from you know the various organizations so that's that's really what i need to say but i just want to say that Charlie, his story is just um exciting and um i believe that um quite a number of people out there that it could be inspirational too and we need to be able to constantly push that kind of work out there so yeah Charlie big ups and keep doing you and wish you all the best thank you God bless you super humbled I'm not hey hey Fia please Fia hey I'm not hey I'm not yes so hi hi how you doing I'm good, thank you. Okay, so... There's over two more money. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, but actually, he's... I think... I, I, I can't say even one-off, but I think the cleanest blogger I know. I don't see much of the mess that goes on on social media on his side. And, yeah, so I'm... Um, let me fetch... I'll fetch some negative stuff. <laughs> okay, so... um. I think uh, off the back of what Robert was saying, I mean, blogging started as um, giving um, expert advice. It even started not necessarily about people talking, but people publishing long, uh, I don't always know if it's epistles or long write-ups on specific... Editorials. Yeah, editorials, yeah. thank Opinions. you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> on, on, on things or um, issues. I really used to... Um, read like that's how even um things like vogue magazine came out because people were giving their expert options um expert opinions on um fashion and lifestyle so then there was the evolution of blogging where they had people like perez hilton in um uh, america who who was dishing out all the debt Thanks. on celebrities and i think he's living up to his his um he's getting his karma now <laughs> as 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 um a form I think he's still blogging though but now he's toned it down because he's a father now so um I think blogging over the years has evolved and it has uh, gained this um pap paparazzi esque you know and the bloggers are very important. Yes. Have you gone to an event and hey, exactly bloggers hey. now invite jai, bloggers jai, to jai, their important. Like you could see if, if anybody wants to 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 become um, popular in Ghana, yeah. And I think oh, our sister Captain Polo was just around here. He, mm. I mean, if you listen to her story, she used to pay uh, bloggers to say things about her on uh, social media to become um, um, popular. Did you ever, did you ever get that? No, no, no. I, 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 oh, him. Ah, okay, fine. Did I, did I get what? Did you get people like coming to you to pay you to talk about them on your blog? To, From beginning to become did, popular. But I was very strict on that. But now, hell no. Okay, so you <laughs> see, that's why I said he's very. I'm on the wall. <laughs> no, so so. Hey, hey, oh, okay. That's why he's on billboards. And other <laughs> bloggers are not on billboards. He put it himself. <laughs> Which is good. Which is good. Which is great. <laughs> he said he did it himself. Yeah, but he's marketing uh, himself. He's marketing. I don't think it's only blogging that you do either way. He's right out uh, with your platform. Darling. And yeah. So um, kudos <laughs> to him. I like the fact that he his his peers are towing a particular line, but he dares to be different. You understand? So kudos to you. I mean, I'm, I'm just happy for you. Mm. Thank you. Billy Success says, Kobe dear, one love. Pope Jigga says, patriotic voice, watching my favorite station live inside the Akuma and Accra. I'm pleading with Ghanaians to exercise patience with this government. Government is still working. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> 
Special regards to Excellency Nanekia uh, Uswe Free, Deputy Ambassador to the People's Republic of China. What else? God Yahweh bless our hustle. Michael Ousun Kansa says, Go there with Kopiche. Great guy. Glad to have him as a brother. In Shaban, DJ says, Good morning, Mr. Andy. Though I don't support what Kwabna Uku did to Kopiche, but I think he, Kobi, isn't saying the truth because he was anti Shata. He was always saying negative stuff about Shata on Xylophone FM on Sammy Flesh's show. So I think his negative talk triggered that slap from Uku. <laughs> Imano Kwesia Bwajia Sibu says, Go there with Kobiche. Real Azar Jr. said, My favorite blogger is, is loyalty with Sark alone. God bless him more. Ado Stanley said, No wonder people tag him as a Sark fan. He speaks very well. Laguna Diaka to the world. Arthur Sylvester says, Kobi such an inspiration. Maria Messinam said, Hmm, great man, brand. Ghana is blessed, you know. We need people like him in this country. The motivation and the leadership skill alone is enough for people like me. Who are working harder to get into the industry? God bless you, sir. Urban Gospel says, Andy, there is artwork where bloggers are part. Okay. okay. The Arts and Writers Association of Ghana. Yeah, so which George Quay leads? George, yeah, George leads. Okay. Actually, there's, there's an... Yeah, because... Yeah, George Quay leads. And there was this conversation a while back where William... When William was a president... Yeah, William, I see you. Yeah, he mentioned clearly that um, there was a need for the bloggers to be incorporated or for them to work together because things had evolved right. and they needed to have some of the ethics that they were you know, working with you know, to, um, for these guys to also kind of like you the same thing, just so that everybody can be brought you know, to mm -hmm. the same level. So yeah, I think that's also an area we could um, investigate. Nice. Good, uh, Max Otoga says, Good morning, Andy. I'd like to tell my brother Kobe that he should go where he'll be celebrated and appreciated. And for the fact that he acted maturely and didn't return the slap, I respect you more. Polish to you shine. Please keep challenging me to do more and do so well. Salam. Eric Kofi said, my favorite blogger, Polish to you shine. Maxwell Toga said, don't let others draw you to the mud. Keep that good work, bro. And Nane Audrey Mensa says, only two in Ghana, Kobe and Amiyao. Ata Sylvester says, God bless you. Okay. Uh, right. In case of Justin, you're listening to Hits 103.9 FM, Kobe Che is my special guest. And this week, we're celebrating bloggers. Uh, Freak Empire says, Andy, he's a good man and even better than... Oh, Masa, why? Mm -hmm. Even better than who? <laughs> we want the tea. Mm -hmm. Andy. Andy. And Rob Frog says... Excuse me. And it was speaking about checks and balances in blogging. I applaud Elombini about two years ago. I did a story for Bini Words and he actually called me to explain to me the problems that article might bring. It wasn't published. Yeah, boo, you wanted to say something? Um, you know, usually when you are reading the comments and you find out there's something wrong, you address it, right? So the comment that... Not all. Not all. Some yeah. of them, I just let it slide. Let it slide. Yeah. Okay, because there, there, was, there was two comments before this one. And it was about the slap. And the person was trying to justify the slap. I think you should have addressed it. No matter what anybody does. Nobody has a right to put their hands on. Nobody. They are not anybody's baby. You know, some of these things before Cam or for no even read that. Yo. No, he's right. He's right. He's so right. He's so right. I mean, which right do you have or which authority that the fact that I work with uh, Hits FM, if you are working with Star FM, we can't be bodies. I mean, me and Nana Banamo go back and forth every day. We're chatting beautifully. Uh, Giovanni is my friend. I mean, all of them are my bodies. You know, so, so, because of that, what? I, I forgot. No. So imagine, say, you slap Kwame Dazi and then today he's joined what Media Group. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I need a ladder to do that. <laughs> I need a ladder to do that. Um... So, yeah, um, well, information reaching us indicates, sad information, that uh, comedian SDK, you all know SDK, yeah, right? Yeah. Remember, he lost his dad yeah. not long ago, and even mentioned that the mother was also in the hospital. Unfortunately, the, the mother has passed on. Mm. Yeah, so, um, uh, SDK, we wish you our, our condolence and... Uh, all the incredulence you may uh, we, we pour them all out to you 
from the team. Kobe. Yes, sir. <clears throat> thank you very much for coming. Final words, eh? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. All right, so, uh, so condolences to SDK, and I have two important things to share. Number one, let's respect ideas. I've had a lot of people, when they invite you, Kobe want to engage you, you go there, sit, share ideas, then you won't hear from them again. So let's respect ideas. Uh, second, uh, second thing that I would say is that uh, documentary. People are not documenting what they are doing, and social media, uh, we've had a lot of legends who have passed on that their social media, they don't have social media handles or they are not active. Let's try to keep the legacies of people who have passed on going. We've had ex-presidents who uh, passed on, I mean, who have passed on, and the legacy are not living on because they don't have social media to push that agenda. So to every musician out there, especially the AJ, those who are not active, let's try to document and keep our social media active. Like um, Nanampedu, somebody should try to continue the legacy of Nanampedu, his family, they should create social media handles for them. A lot of people who have passed on, those who are also living legends must also what pay attention. Bob Molly's, exactly. Bob Molly's account is being verified. He's very active. Uh, Notorious B.I.G. Nelson Michael Mandela. Jackson. Nelson Mandela, also active. We should have a social media account for. We are not saying you use it, create it, and use it to collect money. Exactly. <laughs> Some people may not know that. So God there. bless everyone. God bless mm. uh, every Ghanaian blogger out there. God bless the media. God bless you and the Dusty for creating this segment for bloggers to also share our uh, opinion and also putting the spotlight on us to your panelists here. Thank my, produ the pro producers. my producers. Exactly. They're doing Mr. all the magic. Labby, those on the computers, everybody. Big shout out to my family. My wife and my two kids. Everybody, God bless mm. you so much. Shout out to Mega, producer Mega, Dave, David. But well, thank you. I just had the information. Uh, SDK lost his mom yesterday. I reach out to him. Uh, Kobe, don't go here. Don't go here, Charlie. And our boy, Kobe has featured no, on, on, a, on a song. Yes. <laughs> with, with Samuel G. Yes. But hey, uh, Valentine's Day is coming up. <laughs> Love is a beautiful thing. And those who find it mo must commit to knowing each other very well. Protect that beauty and remain one with each in love. We're asking you love better out there. Are you with your partner? How well do you know your partner? What do you both enjoy doing together? Can you also team up and try your hands at some general knowledge questions in an area of your choice? Why don't you inject some fun into your relationship this Valentine? Send a message via WhatsApp to 0559-691-797. 559 Nine seven with a photo of you both, your names and your favorite love code. We'll call you and share the next steps with you. Who knows? We could be taking a love trip together with this Valentine to a great destination. We can stay in a plush hotel here in Ghana. Valentine love dinner, couple massage, and lots of other freebies. Couple massage. DJ Black Zero. Couple massage. Send us my mommy thumbs up like. Ah, sorry. <laughs> Massages. <laughs> <laughs> Franco Trading Enterprise Talking is your leading yeah. mobile phone accessories and electric retail outlet. Get to Franco Trading Enterprise today and get all you need when it comes to phones, mobile phones, the best. Don't go and stand in Kwan Chain and get it, but your emphasis. Uh, kindly call 0246 422 338. But hey, on the 11th of February, we will all be. At the National Theatre, where Kwabna Kwabna will treat us to some great vibe. The Vitamin Love, Light, Love Night, I beg your pardon, where Kwabna Kwabna and Friends, Saturday, 11th February, at the National Theatre, 8 p.m. sharp. Come feel the beauty of love expressed in 3D. Stand a chance to win tons of gifts, including an Accra Dubai Accra ticket for two. Of course, I'll win one pair. Care to see Prestige Rock, produced by Image Bureau with support from Ebony Condoms. Powered by Joy Entertainment and proudly brought to you by Vita Milk. Ah. And I'm like, the condoms. So what, if you go to events, do you see some of the condoms? <laughs> no, seriously, because some, now you get there and condoms are displayed on seats. Enter, enter and, and get one free. <laughs> oh, no, no, but they, they are displayed. Ah, Christmas. I, I went to an event outside Accra. I was built to perform. 
and after the performance. No, 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 no. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, guys. Oh, you performed, performed after the performance. Boys. Before the Boys. performance. Boys <laughs> and girl. <laughs> Boys <laughs> and girl. <laughs> so, yeah, before so the I had gone there. No, honestly. I had gone there. <laughs> Immediately. Oh, DJ Black Cry say what? <laughs> eh? What is that? Like oh, they are interested. I just entered my room. And you must have. There will be the whole bathroom. There will be the whole bathroom. And when I go, oh, when I go there, there were two packs. I said, I'm the same. I'm not going to go. No, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 wait, wait. Congratulations. So when I picked it. No, wait, wait. That's free. Oh, first. So, but they were sponsoring. So I knew where they were coming from. But when I picked it, I looked at it. Mm-hmm. Left 